Hi guys, welcome to Micro Builds Castle Build Part 2. We'd laid the foundations down last time and this is where we'd got to. You can check out that in Part 1 video that's on the channel at the moment. But uh, for today what we're going to do is we're going to work on this back piece here that you can see. We're going to build the antechamber up, we're going to build the two turrets up the back wall and we're going to do the main chamber of the castle. So we need to start off by heading into the main chamber area that we're going to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these walls to build halfway round it on both sides and then once we've done that we're going to probably look at putting some glass in and a couple of archways so you can see these four walls go in we'll do the same on this side and then we're going to grab our two archways we're going to put one archway in here and then we're going to put the other archway in on the other side and what we're going to do is we're going to grab a load of glass uh, you can use triangle to pick the side of glass that you want so that you can get the right piece. We're going to fill those in in the middle like that. I ended up filling all of them in so that it was one big giant window. But you can see me here putting stone in because I had an idea of maybe having a throne room in it. But then I decided against it once I had a walk around inside it. I wanted to have the big view through the windows. So what you can do is with the stone pieces here look. You can go into free place and you can place a window like that. So you've still got your stone archway and it breaks it up a little bit and makes it a little bit more interesting. We'll do the same on the other side like this, stay in free placement, wiggle it into position until it looks like it's set. And then there you go. That's a good way of uh, using windows and arches actually to build interesting structures. So once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some archways, we're going to put two in on this side, we're going to miss it on the other side, so we're going to do the same on the other side, sorry, and then we're going to miss a gap on either side and we're going to put it two in there and then two in again miss a gap and put them in here like this and then we're going to fill those in with some more windows in a minute so once we've done that we're going to grab some of our walls I think we're at it, yeah we'll stick with this one so we'll put that one in there, we'll fill in these gaps like this and then we're going to fill in the top of it as well so we'll pop three in like that that's over the entrance way from the antechamber and then yeah, we'll run around the outside like this, pop all these in, and we're nearly up to height now. So all we've got to do now is pop these windows in like this using the free placement method that we used a minute ago. And then we can start look, put, looking at putting a roof on, if we can spit my words out. <laughs> but yeah, so what I want to do is, for this roof, I want to grab the flat roof like that, uh, and I want to probably colour it a nice blue or something like that. I just realised I'd missed two windows so I'm just going to grab them just while we're doing this. But yeah I think I'm going to go for blue uh, for, the, for the tops. And it's nice to stick with the ones that are in stone. I mean you can change it if you want. You can make them wooden. You can even use metal if you want. But I really like the look of these. They look like they're rusty. I know they don't look like stone. They look more like copper. I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to change them blue and then we're going to run around the outside of this and we're only going to do it once, we're not going to continue it all the way up and make a pointed roof because what I want to do is I want to break this up so there we'll go all the way around once and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some floor panels and we're going to put them in like this so using those two, ed using the edges of the roofs as the guide we'll do, a, we'll do a ring like that and then we'll grab some triangles and we'll put them in like this so that they match in the center now that's important that you use triangles there because what we're going to do is we're going to line these walls up with the edges of the triangles and that's going to give us another piece to the tower now you can either build up to this inside with stairs or you can place a teleport in the middle of this and put a teleport downstairs in your base and then it's like a little bit of a watchtower that you can enter so what we're going to do is for now we're just going to do the basic structure of the tower it won't work on anything so plonk some windows in on top of that layer and then we are going to grab another set of walls put them in make it three high and then we're going to grab these roofs and we're going to go all the way around like this keeping with the blue and we're going to have a gap in the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a floor panel, a big one. It doesn't matter that it's not centered because we're not keeping it. So put it down wherever you want as long as it matches one of the inside edges. And then once that's down, if you can get in, we'll put it there, look. So once that's down, you want to run over to these pieces here that you can get. Now one of the unlockable parts of Quicksilver that you can get 
at the anomaly is this globe here and I suggest if you haven't got it go pick it up it's pretty good so you can line it up you see dead center of this uh, dome here so you're not lining up dead center to the square what you're doing is you're using the points in between these two you see where it is that that line there you're using that line on every single side to match it to the middle of this and then you uh, you can enlarge this to the biggest it'll go, pop it down, and then you can delete that square. And I know it's still going to leave a gap, but it kind of works. So, like, you could, there's probably other ways you can deal with that and stuff like that. You probably stuck a couple of triangles down or something, but I think that looks pretty cool. So we're going to leave it like that for now. So the last thing we're going to do with this bit is we're going to grab some archways, and we're going to go all the way around the outside of this with archways. Uh, we'll probably revisit the top of this tower later on in the uh, in the series, uh, but for now I'm just going to pop these in like this. So we're going to run all the way around this using the uh, outer edges of the squares that you put down to make sure it's uniformed all the way around. So we can leave that alone for now. That's done. We'll come back and worry about that later. So what we want to do is uh, we want to get the floor uh, walls. Sorry, floors. Uh, and we want to put these in all the way around to build the second part of this structure and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab these uh, we're going to grab these bits again I can't, I'm losing my words today guys I don't know what's going on I've had a really long day at work it's been absolutely mental but you can see what I'm doing on the screen I've put those roofs on anyway right okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to nip over to wood and it's up to you, you can use the asymmetrical timber glass roof if you want, but I'm going to go with this rounded one, and we're going to put these in all the way around the outside. Uh, as you can see like that, it's easy to start at the front actually, so we'll start at the front. So we're going to run all the way around the outside like this, matching to the edge of that roof that we've put on. And it's going to form like a really cool sort of donut. I like to call it the donut. So it's going to do that. And then we're going to be able to sit and have a really cool bit coming in the middle. We can have a light shining through that if we want. We can grow plants through it or whatever. But it's a really cool uh, ceiling as well. And it sort of mi mixes it up a little bit from the main tower. So what we're going to do now is we're going to delete these four walls underneath here. And we're going to replace these with arches. Oh, we've got a couple of bugs visiting there. You see them? It's a bit weird. So yeah, we're going to replace these with arches all the way around now and it looks like I forgot to change my colour back from the roof so what I'm going to quickly do is I will nip into edit mode and we will quickly just change the colours as you can see you just pop in like that and that's a good thing to remember actually guys if you forget to change your colours you can go into edit mode and uh, change it so again what we're going to do is we're going to use a free place trick and we're going to pop some glass in on these we're going to leave the one in the middle empty so you can walk through it but we're going to form some windows with these so once we've done that uh, we're going to get rid of the top layer and we're going to replace these with some cool looking window or something like that. We'll pick one of the windows. I might go for the circular one actually in stone. As you can see if you press triangle on these kind of parts you can open them up so you can pick the top middle or the bottom ones uh, and that way you break the formation of it so if you want to keep a certain wall looking a certain way you can actually build it using the individual pieces now instead of just having to accept that stacking formula that kept happening with it. So once we've done the middle bit, the anti-change bit, let's come along and grab, uh, let's grab these uh, windows. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some walls. We're going to run all the way around. Now I'm going to show you how to do this on one side. The other side is exactly the same. So once you've done it on this side, repeat the other side and you'll have both of the walls. So we pop the walls in like that. We've put those windows in, pop a wall in there. And then underneath that, we're going to grab an arch. And then we've got a nice run from the antechamber into the bottom of here, coming out and then following the wall down. So we can get right around the outside of the build now in, uh, as an inside corridor structure, part of the castle and everything like that. So there's loads we can do in there now, little bits of decoration. So we'll put, uh, we see me put those two stone floors down and then we're gonna, just going to raise this up and again with stone walls. And we'll put an archway in on here. Wherever my archway's gone. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> Here it is. So there you go. We'll put an archway in there. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some triangles. And we're going to build another floor above this one. So as you can see we need to put that floor in like that. So now we're going to be able to walk on the outside of it. Once we've built that uh, wall up. You're going to be able to walk around the armaments. The battlements. And that's the idea of this bit. 
So what we'll do is we'll grab some windows. Let's go for these ones because we don't normally have these ones. These big windows. So we'll grab these and we'll put another layer in of these all the way around. And then I think once we've done that we can grab a roof for this. Now, there are some ways that you can build spires. There's some really good videos out there that show you how to do spires. I think Boyd's done one. I think uh, Beeblebum's done one. I think Scottish Rod's done one. I think there's a few out there. So you want to check them out if you want to build really perfect spires and stuff like that. But we're just doing this for sort of like an everyman build. We're doing this sort of like a, a basic anyone can approach this at any skill level and have a go at building something quite cool using the kind of existing things that you can do without getting too glitchy. I know we're going to use a couple of glitches, but uh, they're nothing too difficult. So there you go, like you can see. So we've done that on both sides now. And the last thing to do on this video is we're going to grab these little walls and we're going to put them in either side and then once that's done we're going to leave it for here and the next video we're going to look at building out the rest of the walls leading up to the gate uh, and probably a little bit of courtyard action so for now if you can get your sense to there guys have a play with it make it your own but uh, thank you very much and I will see you in part three take care of your sense see you soon goodbye thank you very much for watching the video everybody we really hope you enjoyed it if you did then please consider giving the channel a like and a subscribe. Hit the bell notification as well to keep up to date with everything that we're doing. We really appreciate those likes and subscribe, guys. They keep us going. Thank you so much. We just want to take a second to say thank you to our Creative Club members and also our Creative Club graduates that you can see on the screen now. You guys are rock and rollers. Thank you so much. If you want to join the membership, uh, hit the button below, come over and join the members club with us. Uh, every single member will get a free Adventures of Murray comic and all sorts of other little bits and bobs that we throw in there as well, so it's really worth it, guys. But uh, if you want to support the channel, like it, subscribe it, don't skip the ads. You're really helping us out. We appreciate every single last one of you, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. So for now, take care, guys. We'll see you soon.